Okay, so my name's Phil. I graduated in 2010 and I majored in finance and marketing. So just recently, I, I launched my uh, first company. It's called Nice Laundry. And essentially, it helps guys um, start fresh with their sock drawer. We found out over time that a lot of guys have a terrible relationship with their socks, whether it's mismatched pairs, um, you know, missing socks, just boring blacks and grays, and we wanted it to make it really easy to start fresh. So I met my co-founder, Ricky, when I was working at Living Social with him, and uh, he would always make fun of me about my terrible sock choices. Um, it was kind of embarrassing, like imagine white Adidas gym socks sometimes with dress shoes. I'm, Embarrassed to admit it. Um, so finally, over time, he convinced me to get these cool socks because he's had over 100 pairs of them. And he was like, dude, you have to do this. Um, and I reluctantly did that. I spent like $20 on one pair of cool socks. And when I wore them to work the next day, it was kind of game changing. People were giving me compliments. I just like felt awesome. And then when I got home, I had to kind of throw them back in my hamper, and I realized I can't wear the rest of my terrible socks. So I uh, took months and hundreds of dollars and refreshed my whole sock drawer, and it was really painful to do. And we looked at each other and were like, hey, we can do a lot better than this, so let's do something about it. During my time at Georgetown, I was in the corp for four years, which was awesome. Um, got a chance to help build uh, the marketing group, and ironically, it's been some of the best uh, life experience and job experience I've ever had. Uh, it's taught me a lot about you know, how to approach thinking uh, about small business problems, how to manage and work well with teams, um, and taking classes like entrepreneurship with Will Finnerty uh, really inspired me to go down this path. Uh, my first job was actually with the Sweet Green guys who were uh, Georgetown 2007 graduates, uh, and that was a huge kind of stepping stone for me. Coming out of school, uh, instead of taking a more traditional uh, job in finance or consulting like a lot of my friends were, I decided to take this chance and go help uh, build Sweet Green's brand from the ground up. It was a really interesting experience in the process. We actually launched a festival, which is pretty unusual for uh, a restaurant to do. But I learned so much working side by side with those guys, uh, learned so much about you know, how to think about sustainability and, and community, all while building a business that you know, is meaningful and kind of hits its business objectives as well. One of the first things I did was find uh, a couple of trusted mentors at Georgetown, and they actually both turned out to be professors. Um, kind of being able to talk with them about my future, my ideas, and, and get their feedback on things was incredibly helpful. I actually met the Sweet Green guys through chance at an entrepreneurship lecture and talked to them after class and ended up following up, and it was literally as simple as that in, in terms of getting involved. So to all the aspiring Georgetown entrepreneurs, I, I really want you guys to just take a risk, take a chance, uh, think differently, and reach out and find other people from the Georgetown community that have already done so. There's a lot of really awesome, inspiring people you can talk to and, and get advice from. And that's the first step, 100%. How to get in touch with those people. So I am one of those people. Uh, Phil at NiceLaundry.com. You can always email me. That's totally fine. Uh, there's uh, Will Finnerty is a great entrepreneurship professor here who teaches. Uh, you know, Some of your professors might be great people to start a conversation with. A lot of them have done really impressive things before they became professors. Uh, there's resources. Uh, in the Hoya connection, I believe. I'm not even sure what it's called. But it's all about kind of identifying who, who's in the network, who's doing interesting things. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. I am heads down focused on Nice Laundry. We launched our Kickstarter campaign uh, only two weeks ago, and we've made, I believe, over $50,000, broke some records in the way. That's really exciting because it's becoming easier and easier to launch a business today. So you hear all the time software is eating the world, and that's great for software startups, but I think it's finally happening in, in businesses like mine where you need inventory. So Kickstarter might be a great option for someone to test out an idea of 
something as simple as I want to sell socks, I want to sell t-shirts, I want to sell some physical good. And it essentially lets you do a pre-order and, and see how your idea plays out. Um, so I think for the next five years, I'm going to be focused on building this brand I've always wanted to build. It's, it's something that kind of almost this notion of approachable premium that I've never really been able to find in the market. And uh, we'll see where it takes me.